the next question which is tfr okay now what is tfr tfr refers to total fertility rate the question is total fertility rate refers to Now what is fertility? Fertility means the number of children born to women in a period of time. Okay, fertility is uh, the number of children that is born, male or female. Okay, any. So that is called TFR for short form or the full form is total fertility rate. The options are A, number of live births by a woman at the time of census. B, Number of live births by a woman during the entire reproductive period. Number C. Number of live births by a woman in a decade. D. Number of live births by a woman adjusted for sequence of delivery. So the correct option will be number C. That is number of live births by a woman in a decade. Number of live births by a woman in a decade. A decade is a time period, okay, of usually 10 years. So, accordingly, the census is made, okay. So, now coming to the next question, that is question number 82. Question number 82. Blue revolution refers to. Now, from the very word blue revolution, see I have underlined. The word blue will give you some hint. Any idea of what blue revolution can refer to? Something related to water because water we usually term that as blue. So, some options related to water. Even if you don't know the answer, you can look at the probable possibilities and then you can answer. The first option was Increasing production of biofuels. B. Increasing production of fish. C. Increasing production of indigo. And D. Increasing area under irrigation. So it will be definitely option B which is increasing production in fish. Now, why fish? Because it is related to the term blue. Since it's associated with water, so it is referred to as blue revolution. Okay. Now, moving on to the next question. Question number 83. The person who is known as the architect of Indian planning is... The term used here is architect of Indian planning. First option was Amartya Sen. Second option, Shukhamaya Chakravarti. Third option, P.C. Mahalanobis. And D. Jagdish Bhagavati is the option. So the correct option is C. P.C. Mahalanobis. Again, moving on to the next question, question number 84. Okay. Official estimates of poverty line is determined by the monetary value of A 
official estimates of poverty line is determined by the monetary value of Now you already know the term of poverty line that is APL and BPL people who are not having adequate food or uh, they are below the poverty line or the uh, earning and income is quite less they are BPL or below poverty line okay so APL and BPL APL stands for above poverty line the first option was calorie intake B PDS offtake C durable goods consumption and option D, non-durable goods consumption. So the correct answer is A, that is calorie intake. Now according to the report, calorie intake for urban area and rural area is quite different. So you have to follow accordingly. Okay. With this being done, we will proceed on to the next question. Question number 85. Now, question number 85. I hope this much is clear. There is no problem in understanding Indian economy. Question number 85. The longest national highway in India is... The longest national highway in India is. Now you know what a highway is and India has lot many highways. So the first option is NH1. Second option NH12. Third option NH16. And the fourth option NH44. The correct option is option D NH44. Now NH44 is a national highway which connects uh, places from Srinagar to Kanyakumari. So you can just imagine the distance starting from Srinagar in the uh, top north of India till the southernmost point that is Kanyakumari. So joining that, this highway is termed as NH44, which is the longest route or the uh, longest national highway of India. Okay. Now coming to the next question, question number 86. Domestic industry is protected from foreign competition by Domestic industry is the trade and business that takes place within India and foreign you can definitely uh, refer to the international ones. The options were A. Quota, B. Dumping, 3. Free trade and D. Trade liberalization. So the first option will be A. Quotas. Why quotas? Because if you keep reserved quotas for international competition, then definitely you cannot exceed that quota and this will limit the external competition and domestic trade will flourish. I'll erase this. Coming to question 87. Dash was the earliest iron and steel company established. Now many of you might have a question where, where was it established? Definitely if you are talking of Indian economy, it will refer to India. 
The first option is IISCO, second TISCO, third Jindal Steel and fourth is Salen Steel. And the correct answer which many of you must know is TISCO, option number B. And uh, you all must be knowing the full form of TISCO, that is Tata Iron and Steel Company. Okay, which is India's pride actually. So, the next uh, question we will uh, move on to is question number 88. Okay. Now, question number 88 is production of a commodity mostly through natural process. Production of a commodity mostly through natural process. Now from the half part of this question, you can understand. From the natural process, that means which sector we are talking about. Okay. So, production of a commodity uh, mostly through natural process is an activity in the dash sector. Now, since it is related to which sector we are asking and we are talking about the natural process. So, let me say you the options. First is primary, B, secondary, C, tertiary and D, construction. So, definitely cons uh, construction, uh, tertiary and secondary will not take place. The answer will be A, that is primary. Now, why primary? Because we are producing through the natural process. It's either agricultural product or genetic product. So, it will be according. So, that is the primary sector. Okay. Now, coming to the next question. Question number 89. I hope up till question 88 of Indian economy, it is clear. There are no such difficult questions that is actually given. Okay. So, you can understand how uh, easy the questions are. And definitely you can solve through that. Okay. The next question. Question number 89. The measure of money supply denoted by M4 by RBI is? Now, what is M4? You must have heard of M1, M0, M1, M2, M3, M4. Now, M4 is the total money uh, that is circulating in Indian economy. Okay, that is the sum total of all. Okay, so from the options, you can easily understand. Firstly, currency held by the public plus demand deposit. Option B, currency held by the public plus Savings deposit with post office savings bank. Option C. Currency held by the public plus time deposits of commercial bank. And option D. Currency held by the public plus demand deposits plus net time deposits of commercial bank plus total deposits with post office. So the correct option is option D. That is currency held by the public that is uh, the sum total of all that we are talking that is the option D currency held by the public plus now this will add all the totals okay and this is there also in the options plus Demand deposits. Okay. Currency held by the public plus demand deposits plus net time deposit of commercial banks.
net time deposits of commercial bank how much we have got currency held by the public plus demand deposits plus net time deposits of commercial bank plus total deposits with the post office okay so actually m4 is the total money circulating in the economy comprising of money that is held by the public plus the demand deposit plus net time deposit and total deposit now the next question 15th finance commission was headed by which is question number 19 the 15th finance commission now you know finance commission is not held every year it is held uh, after an interval of around 5 years so it was headed by first option y v reddy number b n k singh number c vijay kelkar and number d urjit patel so the first option uh, second option is the correct one that is n k singh which is option b n k c okay it was headed by that means it was presided by okay so n k c is the correct answer to this number of question now 15th finance commission was headed by n k c we have got this much so for your indian economy section only up till this much was there i hope it was really not very difficult while understanding this video the questions were was quite direct in fact and not too hard to answer i hope the video and the explanation was clear in the next video we will proceed on to the next part of the hseep thank you please follow the next video